and I put a, a ladder there. And it, trust me, it's absolutely not OSHA approved. <laughs> uh, getting back on this thing is a little tricky. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Beard of OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started with our coal power plant. I'm um, excited to go ahead and get started with that first before we start doing anything with steel. <clears throat> All right, so um, I kind of sort of pre planned this out a little bit, but what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four foundations, and then five there. I believe that's right. Put this in um, zoopity doop mode. And we'll go nine. Oh, the other thing is, is I wanted to uh, make this concrete. That's going to cost me extra materials, actually. So let's redo this. Let me just copy this. All right, let's try that again. So one, two, three, four, and we start on the fifth one. We'll just zoop these down ten. Yeah, that should be good enough to start with, I think. All right, now um, let's grab ourselves our first uh, coal plant, coal generator, whoops, and turn it this way, and I want the wire frame to be just on the other side of that first seam there, and I think right about there is good. Yeah, that should work. All right, I'm just going to put that there for the moment. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do is... Yeah, that's right. We're going to put seven more of these down, so we have a total of eight. And you know what, too? I think I'm going to temporarily... Give myself a little more room to work here. Um, looks like we're out of reinforced plates. Let's go grab some of those. Uh, a couple things I did off camera, as you can see, I just set up a couple of awesome sinks to, to feed the coal into. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't do this in real life because it would be a complete waste, but in the game, you know, the, the coal, all, all of the resource deposits are infinite. So I figured, well, we might as well, you know, start using that to make some points till we're ready to do something else with it. And as you can see, I also uh, put up signs here too for each of our storage bins. So we're getting getting a little bit better organized here. Let's grab, I don't know, maybe about three of those, and we might need some more rotors too. Uh, let's grab one more of those. Um, oh, we need. Let's just zoop down another 10, because we're going to need it anyway, eventually. Alright, so that gives us eight coal generators. They should all be perfectly lined up. And they should also all have just this little bit of space in between them. Oh, game save. Just double checking on that before we proceed, because... If you don't get this first part right, then it screws everything else up later. Good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is um, let's remove those guys. Um, yeah, just remove these for now, too. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to switch to a different toolbar here with some piping on it. 
And we're going to take this pipe junction and snap it in there like that. And then we're going to do another one right in front of it. And then remove that one. Uh, this is really nice too. Um, these, you know, kind of snapping pipe junctions were not in update five. So, okay. So you see how um, there's kind of like a small green line coming out both sides. So that means I'm lined up, you know, of course with it, with that junction and with that um, input there. So that's what we're looking for. But yeah, you used, uh, you used to, the pipes used to be harder to work with is what I'm trying to say. And so they've definitely improved that. And that's uh, the final one we're going to do for now. Okay, good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a pipe. And let's see, we're, we're in auto mode. Let's... Auto 2D noodle. Yeah, let's just... Stay in auto mode for now. Okay, so we want to come out, line up with that, and then go back to. That should give us a nice 90 there. All right, and then we're just going to go along and connect all these pipes here. Last one, we'll once again bring it out to the green line, back two. Uh, whoops. And that should give us a nice clean 90. All right, so that hooks up um, all of our pipes to the coal miners. Um, before we continue with the water, I'd like to actually get the coal started feeding in so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a mark we're going to use mark two for all of these uh, and we want to go up let's we want it facing that way and we want to go one two three four okay before i go any further with that let me just double check and make sure that's correct i'm pretty sure it is um all right so we're going to Take this away. Uh, looks like we need to rehook that power up for now. Now, um, I thought about, and I still might ultimately do this, uh, but I thought about actually starting the cold, you know, down there, so there's less stuff going on down here, but. I want to make sure that I, I, I want to start at least the first section of this at the base. So, you know, going out that direction, everything lines up correctly, I guess is what I'm saying. I could still do it the other way, but that's that's working too hard. <laughs> uh, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, let's see if we can line up. That's, uh, is that right? Yeah, that is right on the seam. Okay, that's going to make this actually pretty easy then. Um, let's go ahead and put down a riser here. Um, the only thing I'm actually not sure about is what our clearance is going to be here. Is that level? I think it is. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go there. Um, I don't actually like that being right in the road, though. Now that I think about it. So can we instead attach it here?
Good. Okay. Now, let's temporarily... Let's see. Um, temporarily put that there. And we want to take this section down. Okay, I think I want to bring... not sure if that's going to work out right or not. We'll, if it doesn't, then we'll just adjust it. So I didn't need those other two pieces there. Okay, now um, let's take a Mark II lift. Oh yeah, I'm, i got to go way back with this. Um, uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Put that there and turn this this way. This actually will work out perfect. Okay. Let's make sure that's nice and level. It looks like it is. Okay. Good. This is not needed. Uh, oh, shit. We're clipping into the power line. Damn it. This would have been, like, perfect otherwise. Okay, so... I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to change that. It's just perfect, perfectly lined up in every way. So, we're going to do something different with the power. Because I don't want that clipping. Tell you what we'll do. Let's go down here. And we're gonna put that lined up, right? I think so. Yeah. Alright, now let's down here. It's not gonna... Is it gonna let us go all the way down? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Except for... I'm still gonna probably have some clipping. Unless we hold it back to... Let's try right there. Yeah, that works. We could... I guess I could move it over one more, too. Um, look, eh, I don't know. That might not work so well. Yeah, it'll work. There. Okay, so that takes care of that issue. Okay. So let's get the rest of uh, these set up because um, I'd like to have uh, one, two, three, four. I'd like to have these, all of these machines completely full of coal by the time we hook up the water. One, two, three, four. Because then everything will just start more cleanly. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to use Mark II for everything here, which will also speed things up a bit. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to actually use splitters for this because it just lines everything up nicely. So that'll be the input for you, but then all the inputs need to be on the left moving down. The one thing that kind of sucks about connecting a splitter or a merger directly to a, a lift is that the product then clips through the bottom of the of the thing. So I wished 
I wish they made these so that the bottom was open, essentially. Uh, or at least open enough. You know, maybe it had like a removable panel for the part going up into it. But it doesn't. Um, and that's just going to be one of those unrealistic things that I'm going to live with because it's just too damn convenient to be able to do this. Now, I know I could I could hold the splitters out a little bit, I guess. Um, but that's just a lot more work. But I guess I could do that. It would look nicer in the long run, wouldn't it? Um, Alright, well, shit. I talked myself into it because of my fucking perfectionism. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Is that even in the right spot? It's kind of hard to tell from here. Yes, it is. It doesn't even, it doesn't need to be out that far either. Um, what if we put it... Yeah, I, it's still gonna... The product's still gonna clip. What we need to do is we need this right in between these two but it's not letting me do that so i think we'll we'll just go with this and then um you know here's the other thing that's going to be a pain in the ass here i got to reconnect all of these now because i don't think they'll be connected Let's just make sure that that's... No, damn it, I put that on the wrong side. Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's stick a temporary one underneath it. And that's the way we want it. Is that connected? Nope. It will. Let's wait for the coal to get over there. Maybe it is. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's not. Okay. So now we just have to redo this again. Now it's connected. And this guy's already full anyways. Okay, so I will, um, I'm going to cut the camera and fix all of this. And I'll bring you back when we're done. All right, guys, I uh, got that all fixed up and everybody's getting loaded up with coal. Uh, let's talk about the coal for just a second. Uh, if you guys watched the last episode, you'll know that I set up a Mark II miner on a normal coal node way the hell up in the mountains there. Um, and we ran a Mark II line down, which means it's feeding us 120 coal per minute all the way down the line. Each one of these uh, coal generators consumes 15 coal per minute. We have eight of them. So if we go eight times 15, we have 120. And that's how that works. Very simple. Um, so 120 coal per minute will support up to eight coal generators. Each one of these generators generates 75 watts of power um, uh, right there if you don't overclock it. And so um, that comes out to 8 times 75, 600. So this is all going to provide us 600 megawatts of power, this little section that we're doing here. Okay. So I'm going to, well, see how closer, how closer is this last one getting? It's got 20. Okay, so it's, it's getting there. Uh, it, I'm, it'll probably be completely full by the time we actually start things up. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the water pumps. So, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to... find where the middle is approximately. So, right in between these two. That's the middle right there. Ish. Um, yeah, okay. So basically, you, we could almost say it's, it's right on that conveyor line. So we're going to take and put another junction right about in that middle spot there. And it does kind of 
clip into that, but eh, kind of sucks. But I, I'm, I, I think I'm going to make myself live with that because otherwise I'm going to have to. I mean, for that matter, these are sort of kind of clipping in too. So I, I think we're not going to worry about it. So just ignore that. <laughs> um, all right. Good. So next thing we're going to do now is we're going to grab a pipe. Um, here, let's get rid of these again. Uh, no, pipe. And we're going to just hold that out. So it's right on the edge there. Okay. And then we're going to grab a water extractor. Turn it this way, and we're going to bring it in so that the bolts are right, right before it is too far in, and then it disappears. Um, no, actually, hold on. That's not what I want to do. I'm, I want to bring it in until the bolts just start to clip right about there, and then press control so it lines it up left right-wise. Good. Okay. Now, we need to remove this pipe and that pipe support and reconnect it so it's actually connected in. And we got a pretty nice little straight connection there. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to go down to this this Yeah, so we're going to go one two thingies down here. And once again, we're going to run our pipe uh to there. Oop. Try that again. A little too click happy here. Then we're going to grab one of these. Now this time, what we can do is when we pull this in far enough, you'll see the green line appears to the left. So we just want to make sure that that's lined up nice and neat there. And then we remove the pipe and the collar and reattach it so it's actually attached. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to go down... Um, Starting from here, we're going to go down one, two. Yeah, we're just going to go down to the last pipe here. And then same thing here. We'll hold control to get it left and right lined up and then just slide it back. So that green line is a nice lined up. 90 degrees there. And reattach it. Okay. Now, let's talk a little bit about water flow here. So each one, of, and by the way, I'm not going to do any under or over clocking. We're just going to use everything out of the box. So each one of these water pumps generates 120 water per minute, okay? Um, and so we have three of them, so of course that's 360. These pipes, however, can only handle up to 300 meters squared per minute. That's its maximum flow rate. That's not going to be a problem for us here because um, because the basically the water is going to be distributed and going into these coal generators almost immediately. So the pipe, you know, this little pipe manifold thing we can set up can handle that. In fact, another way of saying it is it's never actually going to get up to 300, um, you know, 300 per minute along this pipe. Okay. Um, that would only be a problem if we connected three of these and then ran a single pipe like way the hell down there to then try and service eight coal uh, generators. Then we would have a problem because all three of these would be trying to push 320 meters of water down one single pipe that can only handle 300. All right, but as long as we're hooked up like this and the water's just going directly into the coal generators along this manifold that's essentially sharing you know all that water uh, we can handle it uh, the other thing to know is if you don't do any clock clocking at all each um, coal generator will take in 45 water per minute and so if we do a 45 times 8 that brings us up to 360 which is exactly what three of these at 120 each will generate. 
so everything works out just perfectly. That's why I want I like to set these up with eight generators and three water pumps. Okay. Now um, it looks to me like everybody's filled up, which is great. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do too is we're going to uh, I'm gonna go into here and we're gonna set up a catwalk along here because otherwise. It, uh, you know, so that way we're not having to jump over these pipes and it'll just look nice. Uh, let's grab the straight catwalk. And zoopity doop that down that way. Okay, so that gets our catwalk in for this first section. Now all that remains is just getting the power hooked up. Now I think we'll, I think we can, I think we can get away with using our, our current power grid to get this started. Once this gets started, though, then we're golden. Oh, actually, no, we're not ready to do this yet. We need to, and we need to put our power poles in. All right, so those I'm just going to put on the corner of each uh, well in the center in, in between each of these like so and then we just hook these up now let's bring this straight over here And uh, we'll just get rid of this. How many tickets do we have, by the way? Oh, oh, actually, you know what? I um, I think I had 19 tickets, plus I had one extra in storage, and I, I went ahead and um, grabbed those. And I made a couple of minor changes down at our road, or way down there, including purchasing a ladder. Uh, well, yeah, it's it's the ladder and the signs that I purchased with those, just so y'all know. And then I'm sitting on the rest of the tickets for now. Okay, so that hooks up this to the power grid, uh, at least on this side. So the question now is, will we be able to connect this? Um, connect the three water pumps and get these guys going before it brings our power grid down because it's going to be close. Um, I mean, theoretically, we sh well, no, we haven't hooked up the water. We haven't hooked up the water pumps yet. Um, and 645's our current maximum capacity. Okay, well, it, you know, if, if it trips the breaker, it trips the breaker and we'll, we'll fix it at that point. Let's just see what happens. All right, I'm going to run catwalks back along the back here. And I'm just going to leave that open for now. Okay, let's grab one of these guys and put that there. But I'm not going to hook it up to the grid just yet. What's going on over here? That's an internal connector. All right, I might switch that later, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Oh, what am I doing? All right, now what we want to do is we want to line. Oh, shit. That's going to. That's not going to work the way I wanted it to. because uh, of that conveyor line, which, is that clipping? Mm. Uh, it's, it's barely, <laughs> it's barely clearing the, uh, the power connector there. Uh, I didn't even notice that until just now. Okay, so, hmm, that one we're gonna have to do something a little differently with then. So I'll tell you what, let's, Let's go down to the next one. 
And what we want to do is we want to make sure we're pointing directly west, looking directly at that. And then we'll put this right there. And we'll do the same thing for this water pump. Looking directly west, looking right at that, and then bringing this right there. Okay. So for this deal, um, I guess we'll have to do something like that. Is that straight? Looks pretty damn straight to me. Okay, I think we're ready to get this started. So again, we're gonna add 600 megawatts to the network. So our current capacity is 645, so it should be 1245 once this is all going. Let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? Maybe that is a good thing. Let, let's actually get these first couple going before we hook these other ones up. So that way their power is added to the grid. They're going to kind of start and stop a little bit until the water gets going. All right, let's go. Ahead. Oh, I did it again. I just want to go swimming in this episode, don't I? All right, let's get these hooked up now. Come on, grab that sucker. Yeah, this is actually probably a better way to do this because then I don't think we'll bring our grid down. So we've got a second or two to get these guys mostly going. good enough and then the final one now it's just a matter of can these guys get up and running steadily enough to keep our network going um, oh yeah it's just it's still fluctuating that's why it's not it should read 12 uh, yeah 1245 I think that was it right is that what I said? 1245? Maximum capacity. Okay. Nice. I think we're good to go without having to worry about uh, tripping a breaker. Okay. So, um... If we look at the pipes here, uh, like I said, these sh these should never exceed 300 meters um, of water per minute. You know, once everything's up and running, because these guys will consume. You remember they're consuming uh, 360 uh, collectively, 360. So. Another way of looking at that is we ha basically have 60 square meters of headroom. So we should be good. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Um, what I will do at, as, you know, I'll, I'll just do it as needed is when we get to the point where we have, um, you know, we're, we're approaching the 1245 kilowatts of power with you know the new stuff that we're going to build then i'm just going to add another eight you know coal um plant or, or coal generator section and we're just going to keep going down that way until we get to you know as far down to that end as we can go i can probably i mean it's kind of hard to say from here but i'm guessing i can put maybe three more sections of eight so another 24 in possibly or more part you know but uh, but then you know once we get to down to that end 
then what we'll do is we'll we'll just wrap it around and come back down the other side in a mirrored configuration. So I'll just set up, you know, um, we could either do it that way or we could we could just keep building out this way too. But I think what I'd like I'd prefer to do is go all the way down here and then wrap it around and come back all the way down this side. Um, and the main reason why I think I want to do it that way is because we have um, oil deposits right over there on those beaches. Um, so I'd rather kind of keep the coal plants more to the east here along this strip um, and then use this area out here later on for, uh, you know, for oil power. So that is the plan. And, you know, we might be able to get all the way to oil and, and get it set up and running before we even need to wrap this coal plant back around. We'll just have to see how it goes. Those things are cool looking, man. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is just the first section of our new big coal power plant. Awesome. All right, so I think um, I think we're gonna go ahead and just wrap up the episode here because it's just a good stopping point. Um, except, oh no, actually, let me just show you a couple of changes that I made uh, from the last episode before we do that. All right, so I removed that ugly ramp that we had, you know, coming down off of here, and I put a, a ladder there, and it. Trust me, it's absolutely not OSHA approved. <laughs> and then I, I, I did a little bit of uh, a few changes down here, too, with the, the catwalks. Um, but, yeah, I, I just, you know, we're, we're going to set up hyper tubes to actually get up here. Uh, coming up here very quickly. But I just didn't like that ugly, you know, foundation ramp that was coming down. So I made that change and... Um, I don't think I did anything up um, at the at the miners themselves, so that's probably. I thought I did one other. Th oh, maybe it was the signs that I put in. I think that was the other thing I did off camera. So, yeah, uh, getting back on this thing is a little tricky, <laughs> uh, but you have to kind of. I mean, in the real world, you just you know, hang on to that and you know wrap yourself around. But in the game, you have to kind of jump out and then get back on it not that it matters to us because you know we got our parachute anyway so all right guys uh yeah i think that's going to wrap up this episode here um the plan for the next episode is to get started uh with some steel production so that we can then uh automate well okay let's look at that again we need to automate where are we at transport steel pipes uh, specifically steel pipes and we might need to beef up our copper plating too well probably not I think we will we'll have plenty of copper plating to at least set up the first few sections of hyper tubing that I want to set up but it's the it's the piping that we need to really get started on now I have you know I have made some of that in a little temporary setup back at the you know original base but you know we're gonna need that for other things anyways uh, so we need to get started with it soon with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.